Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to start making the cards and styling them so our posts can actually show up on the screen instead of having this weird JSON data displaying. Before we get started, though, I refactored the use feed hook. So it takes in a path, uh, a path prop now and it defaults to feed. And this path prop is passed into the identifier of the query hook and is passed into the URL for the back end to consume. All right. So Let's get started. Let's make a styled component for our feed. So let's go over here and make that file called feed.styled.js. And we can import styled from styled components. Let's make that feed a uh, div. Okay. And let's import that into our feed component and into our account component. And let's make that the parent of what we return in from this component. Perfect. So, all right, let's start styling this. So let's go over here. First, we want a margin of auto, so it's centered horizontally. Then we want a min height of 100 viewport then we want a width of 90 percent and make sure that it doesn't exceed 700 pixels let's give it a background color of red so we can see what we're working with all right notice how we scroll and our nav bar doesn't stay with us let's fix that real quick so let's go over here to um, the nav styled component Let's give it a position of sticky and let it stick to the top. So now it stays with us. Okay. Let's give this a uh, feed of uh, style component a margin of one rem on the top or three, three rem on the top and auto on the sides and one rem or zero on the bottom. Actually, just like that. Let's go over here and yeah, okay. So we're gonna start rendering um, our post component. So let's make a component for that. We're gonna name it post.jsx. Okay, and let's make that a styled component. And inside of it is going to live a header and that will be another styled component, a header and a P tag. So let's put that in here first, the styled post and then it's a styled post header and then it's going to be a P tag and in the header we're going to have an H2 and an image tag. And this post is going to take a post as props and the h2 is going to be post username and the image source is going to be post image and the p tag will live the uh, post dot body okay so as you can see here every post has username image and a body now we're going to wrap this in a um, in react.memo cuz we really don't want um we don't want this component to re-render because the props are really never going to change and every time we add a new post it's going to re-render the screen but we don't want these components to re-render so we're good on that let's go over here to the feed and we're going to start mapping over the data to the pages we're going to map over the page and we're going to get the page go to the post and map over each post and we'll return the post component and 
and passing that post as a prop to this component. I'm not sure why I'm not getting autocomplete here. It's really weird. Did I save this file? There you go. Okay, so as you see here, we're getting all our posts on the screen. So let's take off that ugly background. Let's take off this ugly JSON thing that we got going on. Right? And let's take this button on the bottom. So let's refresh. Here we got to load more and it loads more. Okay. So we want to wrap this button in a styled component. And we're going to call it um, load more button. It's going to be a div. So let's go over here and wrap this. Oh, all right, perfect. Okay. So in this load more button, let's make it um, position of relative and the button inside of it is going to have a position of absolute and an inset of zero and then the div will have a width of 200 pixels and a height of 150 pixels perfect well not perfect but let's give this a margin of auto and actually let's do two rem top auto on the sides and one rem on the bottom okay let's give this a background color let's access the theme and it's gonna be theme dot ella or no theme dot primary give it a color of white and we're gonna have to give it a width of 100% and a height of 100% just like that and so let's change this height over here and the width to 150 height can be like 70 pixels Okay, let's change the font size on this button to be like 1.5 rem. Let's give it a padding of 1 rem, 2 rem to the div. Okay. Okay, so the width, I think the width is fine. The height is a little off. So, as you can see, when we got our post on the screen, we click load more and then the, the rest load. And that's good. But let's start styling these posts. So, the post header, we're going to make it a display of flex. And we um, wanted to justify content space between like that. Let's go into the direct child that's an image, give it a width of 70 pixels. Okay. And we want each post to have some gaps, so let's go into the feed. Yeah, let's make the feed um, display a flex with a flex direction of column and a gap of three rem. All right, and let's give each post a background color. And let's access the theme. We're gonna do theme.elevation one, just like that. Let's give them all a padding of 
one RAM, two RAM. And the header, we want to align item center. We want, yeah, that to be centered like that. Let's do a border bottom of two pixels dotted gray. Let's do padding bottom of one rem like that. And let's go into um, the post. Let's go into the content, which is the P tag. Let's give it a margin top of one rem. And yeah, that's basically it. So as you can see here, we click a little more. All works good. This is a little too close to the bottom. Okay, so let's go into the button and let's make it a position of not absolute. So just take that off and let's mess around with the width and height. So the height can be 70 pixels and let's do a width of 200 pixels and let's do a border radius of 5 pixels to the button and let's give this a padding of 1 rem on the bottom like that and let's uh, give this button a little tiny animation so when it's active we want to transform the scale into 0 0.98 of the original so when we click it it bounces a little bit let's wrap it up let's go in here and obviously use correct capitaliz capitalization on our words copy this over into the account oops okay just like that And let's make sure all these imports are in here. Perfect. So let's also stick an H1 up here. Let me make sure I save all the files and let me go in here and do a line text center or is it not a line text? It's text align. Okay. But only for the H1s. Just like that. Okay. Yeah, so... This is it, pretty much. We wrapped it all up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this series. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I hope you learned a lot from this. It was a great learning experience. We learned back end, front end, Express, Postgres, all this cool stuff. React Query, it was awesome. Styled components, it was pretty cool. I'm going to make a follow-up video, giving my final thoughts on all this. and. I'll see you then. So thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for sticking through the whole series. I know it was a lot, but yeah. So I'll see you next time and have a good one.